David Lowe, welcome to Charm City there, David. Thank you, thank you. Now, now I, I hear through the grapevine, you being an Akron guy, you're a big Cleveland sports fanatic, you know, right? Uh, yeah, I, I grew up uh, in the Akron area, and I kind of grew up a, a Cleveland fan, pretty much. Uh, Cleveland Cavs, the Indians, uh, the Browns, and I was also a Ohio State football fan. How does it feel playing against the, the, the team that you pulled for as a kid when you play against the Indians? Um, you know, I always want to beat their lights out. <laughs> uh, but um, no, it's it's good. I, I went back there last year for the first time just to um, be on the field and, and kind of bring back memories, you know, going up there with my dad, my brother, and, and some, some family members that I had. And, and uh, just being out there and just brought back a lot of memories. You're a big fitness buff, and we had years ago a big fitness buff who played left field and center field for the Orioles, Brady Anderson. Do you talk to Brady much? Me and Brady, you know, we have a pretty good relationship. Um, I talk to him a lot, I try to pick his head as much as I can. Um, I mean, the guy is in great shape for, for his age. Um, so. You know, I take, I take it seriously. You know, I, I feel that we're athletes, so we should put our feed our bodies like athletes and, and work out like athletes. What's something that you just refuse to eat? Uh, I mean, I don't eat a lot of beef, and I don't uh, I don't eat a lot of sweets. I don't eat like chocolate cake or you know any any type of stuff like that. But um, recently, probably in the past year, I've gone all organic, everything. So um, you know, when I do eat a sweet or something, it's like a dark chocolate that's you know, organic or, or, or whatnot. Oh, you went to Mercyhurst, Mercyhurst up in College. Pennsylvania. Yep. Uh, you were a, high, a college wide receiver. Your junior year was, what, was your best year, am I right? Yeah, junior year. How, how did you do your junior year? Uh, I think I might have had four touchdowns. Um, I don't forget how many yards I had receiving, but um, you know, I only played one year of, or of high school uh, football. Um, and I really started to like, because I played soccer my whole life. And uh, I went out for the football team. I, I started kicking for the team because I obviously played soccer. You wanted me to be the kicker. And then I obviously I was really fast, faster than all the other guys on the field. What was your 40 time? Uh, I was clocked. I think I did a uh, college combine laser time at a 4-4-2, I believe. OK, OK. Uh, for a you couple picking colleges. up with a map. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, not, not like some of the guys you oh. see in the in the in these drafts, but uh, you know, I, I could run a little bit, and, and that was kind of uh, you know an asset that I had that I could use. So they put me out there at wide receiver. You know, I didn't even know any of the plays. I'd go, I'd go in the huddle. The the quarterback would just tell me what I should run. I lined up and I ran it, and he'd throw it to me, and I'd catch it, and I'd, I'd score touchdowns. So. Low waiting on it. There it is. Ball game is over. David Low at RBI base hit. Lombardozzi scores. The when I got traded, you know, I kind of had you know mixed emotions because it was you know I had so many relationships over in Kansas City, but I've also developed so many new relationships here, and it's it's been awesome you know to to put on a Baltimore uniform and to be around some of these veteran guys that you know I never really had a chance to play with in Kansas City because we were such a young team, you know we had a couple guys here and there, but um, you know just to kind of you know watch Marquez, you know watch Jones. You know, those guys, it's, it's awesome. Like, you can learn so much from the game, and I'm still learning today just about, you know, how, how other guys go about the game. And, uh, you know, I think that, and along with, you know, Buck and the mastermind, you know, of what he, what he brings to the table, you know, every day. And, um, you know, I, I, I appreciate those things because, like I said, I haven't been around it, you know, you know coming up through the minor leagues. And, I would say that this is the best team that I've actually been on um, as a whole. And uh, we all have great relationships and, and we get along really well.